We are having uh, in Finland a big structural change in healthcare right now, or we are trying to make it, because uh, we have a problem that our um, population is growing old. Uh, uh, the uh, number of old people is growing very high, uh, so it puts pressure on uh, e e uh, our economy and our uh, health care and social care service system. So we must try to make our uh, service system better uh, to be able to meet all the needs. Um, so we try to um, better uh, combine the primary health care and the secondary health care because now they are separate systems and separate funding which create gaps uh, and uh, it creates um, money spending so we, if we could uh, incorporate them better we could uh, s serve people better and also save money. So this is uh, a very big question uh, in Finland uh, in the healthcare sector right now uh, but overall uh, healthcare services in Finland are c quite well and um, they are quite uh, accessible. Uh, but I think the problem is that now when the Finnish uh, government is in financial proble problems, uh, we have a problem with budget deficits, um, the government is trying uh, to cover them by uh, raising um, the fees in the healthcare. So uh, the fear is that people uh, don't go to the hospital or the doctor in the future because the fees are too high for them. So this is a big question of, um, of accessibility and inequality and this is something that we really need to be uh, focus on and I believe it's wrong uh, to put too much burden uh, for the poor people to access their health care. But in the gender uh, issues, uh, last year in Finland we passed a new law uh, about same-sex marriages and now uh, it was very tight vote and uh, it's now but I, I can say that we won it and by we I mean people who um, campaigned uh, for the same-sex marriages. So now we are just passing the law uh, that uh, gay people can get married, can get married also uh, under the same law as the heterosexuals and I think that is very big achievement. It was a very big discussion in Finnish society and it wasn't easy. And uh, now I think the next question is to uh, talk about the transgender rights because uh, Finland the legislation is very old-fashioned. There is only um, uh, two ch official gender, men and female. There is no third gender and also legislation um, like if you change your gender it's very bad like you have to uh, if you want to get married and you're transgender you have to get sterilized and like it's very old-fashioned and it's insulting human rights so we really need to focus on that. But uh, when you talk about women's rights um, in Finland uh, things are relatively well but of course there's a lot that we should focus on and I think uh, one of the major topics is uh, female leadership ship in uh, private sector because in um, political uh, world there are a lot of uh, members of parliament and ministries uh, who are female and it's like a f over 40 percent of the parliament are female but in the private sector in the co leaders of the companies it's very low like maybe five percent of the leaders of the companies are female so this is uh, I think uh, one of the most urgent matters that we have to focus on and also um, that, that uh, when women work that they their wages would be equal of the men so that is that is also vi women typically work in low wage sectors and uh, men work at the high uh, wage sectors and it's important that we should uh, really balance the gap um, we have had new legislation which is quite strict uh, um, uh, like uh, in the shops, uh, the tobaccos cannot be visible, uh, so they're under the counter. You need to ask for them. 
so that is very that, that that is very good and you cannot smoke inside the bars or cafes you have to go out and because it's very cold in Finland <laughs> that is that is giving people in in, in the city uh, like uh, they, they don't want to go out so many people start to think maybe I should quit and many of the companies uh, are encouraging their employees to quit smoking like my mother is very uh, good example she has been smoking uh, 37 years but now uh, half a year ago sh she quit smoking uh, because of the health reason but because also that uh, her employee employer uh, encourages her to stop and uh, in the when when you uh, she works in a grocery store when she has a coffee break uh, it's she cannot go out and smoke the employer em employer has said that it's not allowed so that is also a good initiative um, to quit quit smoking and attitudes are coming uh, tighter and tighter Pe people don't see it as a good habit anymore so I think it's going in a good direction and there actually are conversations about whether in 20 years or so we should ban or qu uh, stop selling the cigarettes altogether in Finland abortion is legal uh, but um, it's not completely free you have to give a social reason reason uh, for get it uh, but um, uh, in action everybody who applies gets gets the abortion so I think uh, things are quite well in the in in that aspect um, I think in reproductive health um, there are some um, question of accessibility because teenagers may not have money to buy the birth control pills and condoms I think that is one of the biggest uh, problems um, but we have a good school nurse system that if adolescents needs to have a prescription for uh, birth control pills they can go to their school nurse which will give them guidance so that that is very easily accessible but i think the money is the biggest problem but there are some some local uh, communities in finland which provide teenagers free uh, uh, con uh, free uh, birth control pills and condoms they are there are like only two or three uh, local communities who do this but the, uh, the outcomes are really positive abortions have gone down and and uh, tran uh, sexually transmitted diseases numbers have gone down and actually the local communes have saved money through giving the free birth, con birth control so I think this is something which is really positive and I think this is something uh, that these local communities should share with the rest of the country and the rest of the world <laughs> because I think the money is an uh, uh, important um, uh, factor when decisions are made so the right thing to do can also be economically wise